Hello guys, yesterday I was browsing Twitter for Laravel stuff as I do daily every morning to share some stuff about Laravel and I saw this tweet. It would be great if someone reviewed the code. And I thought, okay, challenge accepted. Or as the saying goes, be careful what you wish for. So in this video, I will review, quickly review that social network API. It's a really simple project. Code is public on GitHub. So let's help Dip to improve his code. And I will have three pieces of advice based on the controller of his API on social network. So we will talk about these two things injected in the controller, and we will talk about pagination and eloquent API resources. Let's dive in. Generally, if we take a look at the project in routes API file, there's auth for registration and login, and then all the project does is you can create a page like in any social network, then you can follow a person or a page, and then you can publish a person or a page. And also you can get the feed. So typical social network. And in this video, let's take a look at the feed controller. Luckily, GitHub allows us to just click and land inside of the controller. And let's take a look at the index method. And here I have a few comments. First, I don't like the spacing of the code. So there is no blank line before the constructor, but there are two lines here. Also empty line here, empty line here, but no empty line between the methods. So styling is not an error, but would be easier to read what is what and which method begins or ends on which line. And now looking at the code, first thing I see is two things injected into the constructor. So feed interface. So this is an interface and this is API response resource. And let's dig deeper what that feed interface is. And I searched the repository for feed interface and I found that this interface was created for feed repository. So there is a repository file. And if we take a look at repository service provider, this is where we find a lot of repositories. So we're resolving the interfaces with a specific repository. And if we look inside the feed repository, all it does is get feed post where publisher. And this is a good example of over engineering, in my opinion. So in the controller, you inject the interface resolved by repository, all that for launching one line of post where get. And I have a separate video about how or why not to use repository pattern. And I see this quite a lot in Laravel development by people who want to use design patterns, which is good, great, but there's no actual benefit in this example or in such simple examples to have those repositories. Repositories are usually used when you have another Another implementation of the same interface. So you would have, for example, a separate repository class for testing or for getting the feed from other object than eloquent post model. Then you have two implementations of the same repository. And then in your service provider, you would have some kind of if statement of resolving feed interface by feed repository or by your other repository, depending on your condition. A good example of such interface implementation, not directly for repositories, but in this case, it's a service. It's from my laravelexamples.com project. It's free. You can check that out. And I will link this example in the description below. So the interface for capturing screenshots, and there are two implementations of that. The main browser, Chrome browser, and in memory browser. So there are two files implementing the same can capture screenshot interface. So in memory browser and Chrome browser, these ones, and by default in the service provider, it's bound to Chrome browser, but in testing in automated tests here in the test modules test, it is overriding this app bind to in memory browser. In this case, it's a service, not a repository, but that would be a good example of having, for example, feed repository and maybe testing feed repository or something like that. Otherwise, in this case, I don't see any benefit for having repositories. And instead of doing this feed here and this feed get feed, it would be totally okay to launch post where auth ID get directly here. Then we have pagination, which is questionable. Why would you override the default Laravel pagination? I don't exactly remember how internally the pagination works, but this looks pretty similar to the default one. And for APIs specifically, I would suggest to use eloquent API resources, which have pagination by default. So if you get user paginate, so for example, in this case, instead of get, we would have paginate, then pass that through API resource. 
and then you would get the data with links to the next page, previous page and metadata about current page, last page and per page and stuff like that. So this is more like standard default Laravel way to implement the same thing. I'm not sure if there's a reason to override that with pagination with that three lines of code. Maybe I'm mistaken here, but I would use eloquent API resources with pagination. And then the third line, response resource, response success. I think it's for returning the data in standard format from all controllers. So response success, let's take a look what that is. We land in a file called API response resource, which is an app HTTP resources, but it's not actually API resource. It's not eloquent resource. It's just two functions of response success and response error. And they are used in the controllers to return the data, whether it's success or not. And I have a few comments here. First, the APIs should return the status code, not inside of the data, inside of the array, but as a second parameter. So there should be response JSON, comma, and then this status code. If you don't do that, by default response is 200 status code, which is fine. So for this function, it may be okay, but for the response error, this line would return status 200. That status code, bad request would be only inside of the resulting array. So majority of your front end clients would be confused because the status code is 200, but there's actually error happening. Unless you personally know who is on the front end and they do expect 200 status code, then maybe, okay, it's an agreement between you two then between front end and back end, but according to the API standards, errors should return error codes. And finally, if we go back to the controller, I disagree with the response resource as again, injected object, because you may put those two methods somewhere else. And in the past, I had two videos, two different versions of where to put that. So I will link those in the description below, but probably my favorite is in the controller. So any Laravel controller extends controller, which is also public. It's not in vendor. It's an app HTTP controllers controller. And then here you may define response error and response success. And then from your actual controller, you don't need to define anything in the constructor. If we don't use interface, as I mentioned before, then we can totally delete the constructor at all. And then instead of that response success, you would just call this response success with whatever parameters you want. So yeah, three things I would improve in this repository. So don't use interface and repositories. Don't use resource instead, define those responses in the base controller and probably use eloquent API resources to avoid overriding the pagination. With those changes, this controller may be much shorter. Do you agree or disagree? Because sometimes my reviews are kind of one-sided from my own experience and I'm not necessarily right on everything. So shoot your comments below and let's discuss what would you do differently. Or if you have any more comments or tips for dip, you can also review his code and reply to him on Twitter or raise an issue on his GitHub. Repository is public. And if you want more code reviews, I have a separate playlist on this channel of junior code reviews, mostly junior, but some reviews are on the contrary from professional developers for me and for us to learn something new. So all of that will be in that playlist. I will link that also in the description below. Subscribe to the channel to get daily videos and see you guys in other videos.